Um, so this week, uh, I did some viewing. Yes. television shows i watched one that i've been meaning to get like checked off the list of my shows and i watched one that you have been like like mentioning mm -hmm. to me and i was like all right i'm gonna do it so mm -hmm. um the first one i i finally finished uh reservoir i mean reservation dogs okay i haven't uh, started that yet so i assume I, it's good right i really recommend it yeah it's it's on that line. I'm really realizing that FXX, XXX, uh, they make hell of TV shows. Um, like, do. not everyone, but they have good ones. Yes, yes. they have home runs. Yeah. Um, Atlanta, Baskets. Uh, if you ever watch that, that was really good. Um, you know, obviously, Sunny. Right. This is on there. Uh, I'm going to go into the bear next. I watched some okay. clips. You said you finished the bear. Uh, I only watched a couple episodes. You only watched a couple episodes before yeah. it got too real. Yeah. I just, it was <laughs> like, why do I want to come home and watch work when I can just go to work? How accurate is that to the restaurant the lifestyle? So the one thing that it, I, not a lot of people are talking about this where maybe they have, and I haven't noticed it. Noticed it. Because I'm in a lot of like group chats, like chefs and servers and cooks and stuff, and it gets mentioned a lot. But one of the things that they that they do really well, and it could just be PTSD on me and it triggers it. So I think they do it well, but they do the the franticness of it mm -hmm. like like when you're in the middle of a rush you and somebody's calling off like especially like a lot of times you get if you get into a nice restaurant or something like or newer restaurant they'll have kds screens like mm -hmm. you would see at like mcdonald's or burger king where every station has what they need to be doing yeah old school kitchens it's a printer and if you're lucky you'll get white pink and yellow the ticket that yeah. way the the guy who's running the line will put the white up and then he'll send the to the pink and the yellow different directions mm -hmm. but he's going to call to you what you need they do that and the franticness of being busy while that's happening mm -hmm. is so accurate because he's you know you're you're on the grill and when you're on the grill you don't have time to look at your tickets you're listening and that's what you're doing yeah. So you've got your grill and you're doing steaks, burgers, chicken, and uh, salmon. And you're hearing like, all right, I need three burgers, medium, three well, two rare. Uh, I need a, three Fiesta chickens. I need three Hawaiian chickens. I need two salmons, one teriyaki, one regular. Uh, and you're listening to this. And this information doesn't stop. Mm-hmm you're clearing things off the only time you see what's behind you really in a busy situation is when you're turning you swinging hot and you're swinging with your medium burger and you're going to put it on the bun or whatever yeah that's the only time you see that so you have to be in your own zone but it becomes a lot when you're going like in drawers and you're pulling things out you're changing your gloves you're washing your hands you're doing all these different things you're trying to wipe things down with your sandy rag like all those different things and they showed that really well and they showed the guy stumbling on it mm -hmm. and he's like wait 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 what how many all day and he goes no fuck you keep going like yeah. that that happens like you're going to miss drops especially like this past saturday at work i'll send you some pictures um we were so busy that like we couldn't keep up mm -hmm. and our food doesn't take long it's not like fancy food or anything it's just mm -hmm. burgers chickens you know things like 
this. But we were so busy. I was fine. I was keeping up. I was, I'm used to, I thrive in that kind of chaos, but everything else was shutting down. Like on fry side and saute, it was all shutting down. Yeah. And so I was having to slow myself down to make sure the food goes out together and fresh because I can't just cook my food and put it in the window. Yeah. That's not what I do. Some places you can do that, but you want it to come out on time with everything else. Um, so I was having to slow and throttle my production while trying to put more things on a grill that I have no room for. Yeah. yeah so exactly. all that like frantic, like that part that got really, really well and fuck brunch. Like no, yeah, that's no, everybody's nobody posting that, that shit. Yeah. Nobody like, loves brunch. Like fuck when I got brunch. to this new restaurant, um, I was like, you do brunch on Sundays. He was like, I was thinking about it. I was like, I'll go home. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't, I won't work here. Like, I'm not doing that shit. Like I fucking hate brunch. Um, but yeah. So they, they nailed a lot in that show. Yeah. Um, I don't know who worked on it with them or like gave them the, you know, it's easy to pick up lingo, mm -hmm. like the lingo, just the same thing as somebody who is interested or has been around military people will say affirmative uh, check, you know, just things that you pick up in conversation. So that's not impressive to me. No. Um, it was just the overall, like, Oh shit, gotta get this fucking, you know, <laughs> that that was like, you know, I think they nailed that really well. Yeah. Uh, to I answer watched... your question quickly and shortly. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, you had you, you were telling me a Vietnam story story yeah, there, a Pop little Pop. Bit, a little uh, bit. <laughs> but uh yeah, the one clip I saw, I don't know if you saw it in the show, it was a flashback to when I don't remember the main character's name. Um, but he's working in his fancy restaurant mm -hmm. and you know uh, it's all white and mm -hmm. it's like qu it's quiet except him and everybody's doing their stuff and i believe it's joe McHale mm -hmm. walks in yeah you know what i'm talking about yeah and he comes up and the one girl fucked the sauce up yeah. and he's coming up and he's throwing every insult every like, you know, why are you doing this? And then he starts fucking up with his count and like just to throw him off, you know, he's purposefully just trying to get him to admit, you know, you can't do this. This is too much for you, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And I, I watched that scene and that scene was really good. And so I, I jot it down to the comment section on YouTube and like everybody sharing their PTSD stories. And, and that's funny that you put that on top. You said my PTSD. And it's like, like, yeah, kitchen work is like crazy 